Can you believe this nightstand is painted? We've had these for about a decade and I'm not so into black furniture anymore, so let's make them look like wood. I've got a four-step technique that I can't wait to show you. September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month and I'm proud to dedicate this project to DIY for a Cure. If you'd like more information, I'll leave it in the link below on how you can help. Only 4% of funding goes toward children at this point. Let's jump right in. First, I took off the hardware and lightly sanded so bonding primer would have something to hold on to. These nightstands are not real wood, so I'm using a finer 200 grit sandpaper so I don't ruin it. This is my new, not sponsored, DeWalt sander and it's been great. Then I washed the tables. Don't skip this part to be sure the primer sticks. And then I primed them. In order to avoid confusion, I'll tell you what I should have done and then what I actually did. I should have painted on two thin layers of bonding primer with shellac so that it would adhere to the slick surface. What I actually did is I went ahead and used the water-based bonding primer I already had, gave it the old fingernail scratch test to see if it would hold up, and it failed. So I went to Home Depot and looked for the shellac primer that I should have used in the first place, and they were wiped out. All I could do was find a spray paint can of oil-based primer, so I went with it. Then I sprayed, and it left a weird texture and residue, so I had to sand that down with the sanding block and carried on. Next, I added two thin coats of the flat burnished clay with my trim brush, paying special attention to go with the grain and look out for drips. Thin layers is key. Typically, you want to avoid brush lines, but in this case, we actually want them. This is what the wax will nestle into and make it look like wood grain. Now, prepare to be amazed. This is the fun part. Put on your gloves and rub in the antiquing wax with a clean rag. It's crazy to see how much it looks like real wood. When I dipped the rag in the can of wax, I found it helpful to first put the glop of wax in the middle of the piece and then work out to avoid getting the corners too dark. Be sure to take your time rubbing it in evenly. Use less for a lighter bleached look and then more for a layered rustic feel. Now I haven't left a water cup there to see if it stains yet, but I imagine the antiquing wax will seal it and protect against that. I'll be sure to update on my blog if I find a problem. And now the fingernail test. I let these cure for a day and then gave them a good scratch on the side in an inconspicuous spot and they held up. It worked. And finally, I added this hardware from Hobby Lobby. What do you think? Do you have a piece of furniture you would like to try this on? Let me know in the comments.